<laughs> and welcome back, welcome back <laughs> to Greenbox Gaming plays Delta Green Impossible Landscapes. Man, I uh, I do hope that one day that we do get to release all of the uh, pre-recording. Uh, I hazard to call it banter. Just trying to just trying to wrangle these these monsters in. Just what? so we can get started, especially Jean. He's without a doubt the worst of them all. <laughs> yeah, I kind of hope That's we true. never do release that. It's a lot of blackmail well, material. Well, there's gonna be, yeah. <laughs> well, especially from you, Brad. There's some stuff in there that's like, Brad's got some. He's got some interesting ideas, oh. doesn't he? <laughs> God, there's FBI has joined. <laughs> yeah, our di our Discord. <laughs> John and I were at Kroger the other day, and like we were driving down, and there's like somebody in front of us, and I just said something absolutely heinous. What'd you say? And John was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> like, I get you got to say it now. You can't say it live on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody that dropped some stuff in the parking lot, and I don't know, just got really dark really quickly while we had to wait for them to pick it up. <laughs> just like, look at this piece of shit. Look at this piece of shit. It's worse, worse than that. No, it wasn't anything mean. It was just like no. over the top, like vulgar. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fair. How have you guys been doing, man? How are you guys doing, uh, Brad? Didn't you? Didn't you move? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was how was uh how was that process? Did you uh did you have to pay everyone with beer and pizza or? Actually, Madison helped me move, and then he brought me pizza and liquor, so it was great. You guys <laughs> realize so that that's, that's the opposite of the way it goes, right? <laughs> no, I'm going to pay him back. And then after he bought me that, he continued to work for uh, two hours trying to hang shit in my house. So You were I trying. Do, <laughs> I do owe days uh, something. Yeah. But yeah, so my room now, I have my... Uh, cartoons recording over here it looks great i have my credit score on display here <laughs> fantastic um Ooh, where's your social security it's uh i just have it typed out like it's a sentence question right here. Yeah, yeah. Just my social security over and over again yeah in paragraph form for those who are, who are listening uh, uh brad has a has like a background like a virtual background running he doesn't actually have oh, all yeah. these strange things <laughs> I was he listening. did actually just move. <laughs> yeah, he did actually just move. Yes. Uh, that, that was true. It's been good. We had to do clean up because it wasn't up to very clean. And some plumbers had to come fix some shit. So I've been doing that all week. Yeah. But hope it's livable now. So that's good. That's good. That's good. Well, you know, uh, last week um, or last session, it was brought up about the thing about um, what was it? Uh true detectives and how you know that theory that the uh that the investigators who are asking all the questions in true detective are actually like delta green agents mm. yeah yeah have you guys been seeing the stuff about the uh the chinese spy balloons that have been shot down yeah, yeah i saw so, headlines but i haven't read anything well jake told me last night that i've only heard of two the big one that was over north carolina that got all the publicity then there was something else over alaska but Jake was saying there's several more <laughs> that uh, have been well. It's uh, discovered. I, I just think it's really interesting. And there was a uh, someone had actually posted on the uh, on the Delta Green Reddit, which is a great Reddit, by the way, man. Just just a really great oh, subreddit. That place. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good subreddit. Shout out. It's it's shout focused. out to a little website called Reddit. <laughs> <To a> little, <laughs> maybe you've heard of it. A little a little <laughs> bespoke. Uh, they're trying really hard. Yeah, um, God, they're trying so hard. Um, maybe one day they'll make it. Uh, but they, someone had asked about the the spy balloons and it being maybe like a you know like a kind of like a Delta Green s conspiracy. Um, and I think I had said it's like, what if the balloons are all like a part of a like an occultic, basically Earth shield, and by shooting them down, and the reason that the United States government did, well like really hesitated to shoot it down. Was because they actually know that it's keeping something out. 
Mm. They should at least like put it. the Delta Green logo on it or something. <laughs> Warn us. There's like a there's like a picture from a 747 that someone like takes out the window of their with their cell phone. <laughs> it's just got a big ass green triangle yeah. on the side of this massive weather balloon. I don't know. Do this something. shit's like straight out of Red Alert. I'm, I'm just expecting like mind control dolphins and octopi. Oh god, that, that's... Red Alert, man. Red Alert. Yeah, man, what a throwback. What a throwback. Yeah, man. I don't even know. Like, was... Red Alert. I've never fun. played a single hour of it, but I've watched Joe play so much Red Alert. When yeah, we were kids. when we were kids. It's a video game. Yeah, it's uh, a. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know, know the Command, Command and Conquer, Conquer. Conquer. Command and Conquer franchise. Yeah. You know, it's like a mm -hmm. real time strategy. Iberian mm -hmm. Sun. Tiberian yes. Sun. Oh, so good. Oh. Such a good one. And it got so bad and so weird when they tried to remake yes. new ones. It, it was just so dumb. <laughs> and they used that was so back in the day when they used to do live acting, like live FMVs and it yeah. inter intersperse in between the maps that you play. It's fucking great. Yeah, like so in, in the play that again. Yeah, like in the campaigns, I think like was it it wasn't William William Shackner, but it was like like some pretty well-known actors were in the cutscenes oh, for these. Is this old the one games. with uh, the dude from uh, fuck? What's that musical that everybody goes see and they yell out every part? Uh, oh, Rocky Horror Picture. Rocky Horror. Yes, is yes, it is. Yes, it's got yes. This. he's the German, oh, the, the Russian I've guy. I've seen those clips. Yeah. Those are hilarious. <laughs> so good. Isn't he like the it's Russian so chancellor? He's like the president or something. Yeah, yeah. like it's yeah. so bizarre. It's like so over the top. It's hilarious. Okay, that franchise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do a separate stream. Where just, that's going to be a whole play. other stream, just a watch. whole other, a whole other. Well, what is his name? The only, the only question is, are we going to cover it on uh, Tim Curry doing it with Dace or bitching with, <laughs> <laughs> bitching with Buck? Yes, yeah, so uh, for those who were not in on the pre-recording banter, which is everyone, uh, we were we were talking about our individual spinoff podcast, uh, which is uh, what what was it? It was like what Dace do. What days do? What what days do? <laughs> it's just gonna be days talking about the stuff he does. Fucking living, dude. Just doing just it. Do it. Tim, just do it. Just Tim doing Curry. it. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. I said that. Tim Curry. Yeah. You, oh my bad. You never so. listen to me. <laughs> this is my Tim best. Curry, guys. <laughs> Tim Curry. <laughs> Well, listen, if, if Tim Curry were here, he would want to know about the recap. And so that's what we're going to get into right now. That's probably a good place. Wow, yeah. Nice transition. Yeah, just, I, I, I don't know what we're going to talk about, but fucking with bread. Uh, that's the other <laughs> podcast. That's a spin, other spinoff. That's on the B sides. That's, that's the, the B double side. B sides. Let's move on. Uh, yep. so, uh, so the team uh, consisting of Hank Ellis, U.S. Marshal, uh, Benji Potts, our blues historian, and Jean, uh, newspaper editor, or sorry, not Jean, <laughs> Benedict, newspaper editor. Uh, <laughs> Way to blow my cover. Sorry. How <laughs> uh, it goes deep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys are have been in and out of the McAllister building, in and out of the night floors, all in um, an investigation, which uh, on the cover-up side is supposed to be an FBI investigation into the missing Abigail Wright, a New York artist in 1995. Uh, you guys, at first, you know, it, it just seemed like it was just kind of a bullshit, maybe even like a red herring of a case, but things slowly got stranger and stranger. You guys eventually ended up in the night floors, this strange other place that seems to be attached to the McAllister building, and... The people therein, the other tenants, seem to all be touched by it. Um, last episode, you guys have really done a lot of a lot more of the investigation on the outside. A lot of it focusing on Asa Darabandi, the strange um, kind of mis this mysterious figure in history. Uh, he was the architect of the McAllister Building, along with several others. Um, he went missing in 1950, and shortly thereafter. It was discovered that he almost certainly was involved in the uh, kidnapping and most likely the murders of several children in uh, in the years between 1947 and 1950, uh, but then went missing. You guys uh, were really, you know, kind of like hammering down some leads. You found out a little bit more about him. You discovered all these details. You were exposed to this strange 
um, the strange record that Benji found, uh, which had this weird sound on it uh, that you guys identified that you thought that this was actually some type of something called a spectrogram, which is basically a uh, an image that is transmitted via sound. Uh, you guys tried to get into Juilliard to actually look at it and were una unable to. Uh, but then you all, as you, you know, were looking at some of these pictures and one of the things that you discovered was this picture of Asa Darabandi in front of this this uh, hotel with the big letter B on the windows, on the like the gilded, you know, uh, decorative windows. You're able to identify where it was, but when you went there, there was nothing there. And not only was there nothing there, you're not sure there ever was a hotel. But as you guys were kind of running down this lead, you ran to a strange man who originally had told Benji to get out of the middle road that he was going to get himself killed. Um, this uh, tall, like, African man who went into a bookshop. You followed him and discovered uh, that uh, Robert Robert, as he is apparently named, is the owner and proprietor of this weird bookshop. But as you guys went in, it became very quickly, <laughs> very quickly evident that this place had a lot more to do probably was probably a little closer to the night floors and this kind of strangeness that you guys have been encountering than you were really prepared to deal with at that time or you expected to run into it seemed that the bookshop shop itself had appeared out of nowhere uh robert had taken you through the stacks through this bizarre hedge mage of literature uh, to get another copy of the King in Yellow for you. Uh, a copy that he received from a strange disembodied hand reaching out of the darkness, placing it gently into his own palm. Uh, Hank was Ooh, like, man. we're getting the hell out of here. This place sucks. Why did we ask for that again? I don't remember, remember why you why asked for that, asked but for? you did. Seems like a weird thing to ask for. That was, that was probably the creepiest, creepiest part of it. Maybe one of the creepiest parts of the whole campaign, honestly. Something about the idea that hand got me right oh aside from the infinite hole into which that person fell right <laughs> oh. you guys uh hank went back out he is uh you know he's like he's like this place is strange we need to get out of here uh and benji and benedict went looking for some books from carcosa about Carcosa, you didn't find anything. You did hear some strange things while you were... It always seems like there was something a little bit odd going on just in the next aisle over. But even getting to the next aisle over of books seemed almost undoable. Eventually, you guys came across a clearing, which almost looked like a clearing in like a park, uh, with what looked like some, some hastily erected barricades, like defensive positions, and three crates of equipment... Um, these crates all contained brand new, freshly oiled trench coats, shotguns, and of course, some really handy, awesome gas masks. Um, <laughs> when you guys took these out of the, uh, out to Hank, Hank actually identified, wait a second, there was a yellow sign etched on the lenses of these on the on the eyes on the lenses of these gas masks and you shudder to think what this might have done to your mind had you actually put these on um you guys eventually uh, after you got done with that uh, i'm gonna assume that you guys made your way back out to the street uh ready to move on with your lives uh tell me if you didn't otherwise but that is where we ended you guys have just finished looking through the bookshop and you are back out on the street so what do you do? I don't think we left the bookshop. Okay, maybe you are still in the bookshop, which is fine. Yeah. And we got a bunch of gear now. Now we've got shotguns for all and yes. trench coats. Old shotguns. Old shotguns. They're old like shotguns. shotguns. They're old shotguns, but they appear to have been immaculately uh, maintained. We talking uh, Remington, Mossberg? Was Mossberg around back then? I don't know what kind of shotgun they are. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I no, you know what? I will tell you, they're probably um, they're probably some type of military esque like style of shotgun. That's kind of what How they. How badass seem like. would it be if they were like Carcosian made? 
Like <laughs> shotguns from an alternate. It's stamped on uh, there, like made in Carcosa. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually. Perfect language. We're gonna. I, I want to look at the shotguns. Is there is there anything on the shotgun? Legit. Uh, when you look at them, you found the note that they had been um, that they had been made in. Let me see what year it said. That they've been, uh, they were stamped in 1954. Mm. We got a, uh, we talking buckshot or slugs? Buckshot, sure. And then some details here. <laughs> All right. All right, gang. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, anybody got any ideas? Because I sure Robert, don't. Robert, Robert, Robert is just kind of, he like I said, he kind of goes and he seems to be straightening things out, you know, and just kind of fussing with the front of the bookshop. But it seems like every time you look away and he moves to something else, that everything he did was just undone. That nothing seems to be straightened out every time he kind of fusses with it and, you know, stands books back up and stuff. It seems to be, it seems to be an endless process. What is this? Some kind of Hogwarts library? Um, Hogwarts doesn't exist yet. It's 1995. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> J.K. Rowling was still but a waitress writing stories on scraps of napkins. Can we just find her? Let's just forget <laughs> about this. <laughs> Oh, this is about this whole thing. Let's Let this nightmare again. end. This thing, wanna... cursing, alternate dimension thing. It's kind of boring. Like, I would like to read some <laughs> Harry Potter. Would like to invest in Harry Potter stock. Yeah. Benji <laughs> buys Max stock. So, what are you guys going to do? Okay. Well, so I guess Hank looks at this. You know, he saw the how close they came to being like potentially screwed up uh, if they put on these gas masks. Assuming that's what it would do. And he's like, uh, Phyllis, I think I've uh, come to the realization that, dare I say it, we're not going to find in any of these answers in the, the real world out there. Wherever Abigail is, wherever her kidnapper or whatever's going on is, we're going to find the answers in this, whatever this place is or whatever it's connected to. I think we gotta go back to them night floors. Yes. Well, I, I su suspect that this place is connected to the night floors. It's all one. Doesn't look like there's anything on the map, though. But maybe. We could ask. We could ask good old Bob Bob. Oh, Bob Bob. Uh, can... Does, was there like evidence I say we just look around this place a little bit more I think there's something to find out some hidden door somewhere around these shelves uh, did Hank or anyone see like I know it was like endless bookshelves was there like any other like doors or anything of that nature we saw I would say no it is a weird question uh what time of day is it? It seems like something I just know. But Probably at night. When, when you guys when you guys came in here, it was not late. It was not yet night. Oh. I thought this was like another night floor, like it was only appearing because it was night, you know. So like okay. the the time of that? year oh. that it is for you Good guys, question. which is August. Uh, it's currently August twelfth. You guys are still on August twelfth, a Saturday. Um Or maybe you're actually on Sunday now that I think about it. I think you guys are actually on Sunday on August 13th. Um, the It's getting dark around 7.30 in the evening. It's probably like 5 o'clock or so. Yeah, this place appeared when we got in the right position. Not at the time of day, though. Yeah. Oh, what the hell's happening? Well, I think uh, I, have, I have an idea. Remember that painting that I took, the, the blank canvas. I say we try and grab that blank canvas and head on back up to the night floors and try and return that canvas I, uh, to, to, that, to that lovely man in the mirror. Let's see if he knows who this canvas belongs to. Mirror shattered and the guy in the mirror was 
probably a reflection of their Baldy. Well, now it just sounds like you're making excuses for uh, <laughs> their Baldy. My bad. <laughs> He said Giordano. Donatello. <laughs> Darabondi. <sighs> Robert, you got any thing actual helpful helpful to tell us before we leave this uh strange, creepy uh -huh. piece of shit bookstore? Manners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was. He might be a useless son of a bitch that ain't provided us with nothing substantial. But let's be let's be manner mannerific. I'm sorry. It's just like, I get a little cranky after I've been scared to death five times, had to roll for sanity checks, all <laughs> to get another crazy book. You understand, don't you, Robert? Of course, of course, I understand. It must be a lot for you too be surrounded by so much knowledge. I understand it can be very jarring for those who are intellectually not as um, advanced. So I understand that the bookshop might might be a little bit scary for you, but do not worry. Your, Bob, Bob, does your middle name happen to be Steve? <laughs> no, of course not. Okay. You just remind me of somebody that I know named Steve. <laughs> It is, I understand, um, if you would like, um, if you would like to come back and look for anything, I'm sure you, you know where to find me. Oh, so we could potentially come back to the same spot and Well, of course, anyone can come back to the bookshop. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be that simple. All right, uh... <laughs> Walter's so grumpy. <laughs> it's not Walter. He's an old man. That, that's not Walter. <laughs> hey. 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 Fuck. Yo, Walter was one of his one of his oh, old characters. <laughs> this game is getting to me. Somewhere. Yeah. All right, Robert. But if you got anything you've been hiding from us, if you got anything to do with Abigail outside of giving her this book that turned her life into a living hell. I'll be back for you. Well. <laughs> okay, well, I will be here. All right. He gives you one of those winks. No, big smile. Don't forget You're it. such a lovely man, Robert. Thank you for your help. And if Dare Bundy stops back by, you make sure to tell him we called on him. Of course. Speaking All of right. which, do, uh, Joe, uh, do I have, like, damn, we're so low tech. I don't have, like, some kind of, like, communication device I could leave with him. Like an extra radio. No, I mean, you could leave him your, like, pager number. You know? And I think you've already given him that. Okay, we cool. Left him the phone number for the, the safe house. Yeah. Alright, sounds good. Well, that's about all we can do, I think. Yeah. Yep. Besides so rummage through this place some more and potentially go insane. <laughs> well, speaking of safe house, are you guys going to head back there? Uh, yeah. Benji's got to feed his cat at some point. You guys think we could swing back by my apartment and feed my cat? I'm worried he's going to die on account of a lack of food. <laughs> uh, I reckon we can. All right. I guess we can afford the time. When when you get there, there's a message on your machine. Um, now come on in, guys. Hey, here's Alibaba. This here's my cat. I love him. Have a pet. Everybody gather around and have a pet. <laughs> Um, there's a, there's a, uh, <laughs> there's a message on the machine. <laughs> I will ignore your blatant attempt to derail things. <laughs> and, uh, when, uh, and if, and if, and if none of you decide to look at the, an at the answering machine, Alibaba hops up on the table and hits the button and the a message starts to play anyway. <laughs> um... You hear, you hear a you hear a voice, and it's definitely Agent Marcus, but it sounds like he's trying to sound like someone else. Like, um, yeah, this is uh, this is Todd at the at the store. Um, I have your order, and uh, I was hoping that you would come by to um the house. 
so that we could take a look at your safe um, that you had sent us, the house with the safe, and that you could please uh, get a hold of me. I really need to talk to you. Okay, thanks. Bye. God, he's so good, that Marcus. He's just so good. Dude, he, dude is like he's like Jay, he's, he's such a good secret agent, isn't he? A smooth operator. <laughs> Hank turns to everybody's like, that was some undercover talk that we do in the uh, at Marshall's office in all the, the time. He really he wants us at the safe house. <laughs> oh golly, I didn't even pick that up. That is <laughs> goal. Yes, we spend years training this lingo. Well, you're just a, a dang old Navajo code talker. <laughs> That's what you are. All right. Let's um, get one last pet. Head of the safe house, huh? Aren't you going to feed him? No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> That's the uh, point, but all right. I'm, I'm deeply concerned for your for your caretaking of your pets. Uh, but he needs to, he's on a diet. He's a little fluffy. <laughs> all right. All right. The safe house it is. All right. Safe house. Let me see here real quick. For the you record, guys... Benji feeds Alibaba. All right. You guys get to the safe house. Um, and when you, you know, and this is, it's an, ab it's an abandoned, you know, like apartment building that uh, looks like it's probably going to be demolished soon. That's kind of what you were told. And as you pull up, to it, uh, you see there is another car outside, and that the door has been left ajar. Uh, as you walk inside and open the apartment door itself to where you have your big, you know, evidence board, the the canonically the physical location of the board that you know we see on stream here. You see Marcus standing there, and he is he's wearing like a uh, like a trench coat and a ball cap. Um, you know, it looks like he's trying to be incognito basically and he's just got his hands on his hips and he's just like oh man oh man he's looking at all your notes and stuff and he, he's like oh man this you guys come in he kind of starts a little bit. he's like hey Marcus how how is Michelle you look ridiculous first off but how is Michelle <laughs> I I you 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 know what you look ridiculous all right be how, that as is may how, how is Michelle <laughs> He looks at the other two. He's like, "Does he have something with this woman?" As like, it's what very dear to me. Well, she's it, quite dangerous. Uh, well, I mean, well, listen, listen. Um, your, your, um, you know, the the civilians that have been caught in the, in the crossfire. They um. We've had them back at um, the the guys upstairs, the the bosses, you know, big DG. They they took these guys to a site and you know and started questioning them. And I I wasn't there. I wasn't a part of it. You know, I I wasn't even in the van when they took them. Uh, and I, but something that they were saying has has rattled these guys and i i've been told to come down here and talk to you guys and we need to and i i have to ask you a very important question all right and he gets very serious with you guys he says has anything from inside this investigation that seems unnatural been released into the wild anything i don't have specifics I was just told to ask the question. Well, uh, Marcus, that's complicated. Uh, a couple of things can't come to mind. Uh, All right. And he holds up a finger. He says, All right, I don't want to know anything more than I don't need to know what it was. I don't want to know what I just need to know where and when that there were any leaks of whatever 
the fuck is going on here? Again, uh, the way is complicated, and the win is definitely complicated. This, uh, there's a, a the dilation of time happening, of time and space. I, these night floors, have we told him about the night floors? If you, <laughs> he holds up a finger again. He's like, no, 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 no. Uh, hold, group, group huddle. Let's group huddle over here. Okay, what are we huddling about? No, not yeah, you. Marcus, you ain't Marcus. Marcus. Oh, shit. Uh, Go okay, look at the board. <laughs> look at the board. You look like <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at that symbol over there. What what oh. symbol? Oh no, I looked at it. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh, sanity check. He uh, he's like, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go use the head, and he goes into that nasty bathroom and closes the door. So, uh, have we actually let anything out into the wild? There's that one fella we found in the in the night floors, but he's contained. He's with the boys upstairs. Is there anything else? Well, you you did read the book, didn't you? And you had a oh, weird experience. Oh, you don't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Bennett or Benji did read the book, kind of black out, and find himself playing a strange song on a strange guitar in a coffee shop. And then, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, you actually wrote down the yellow sign and gave it to a passerby. Mm. Now, but I don't know. Actually, I don't know if Jesus. I don't know if the other two know that. I know that you told the other two that you had had this kind of blackout yeah. and the, about the coffee shop. I don't really know if you had mentioned that you. No, had we don't know about that. No, no, Benji wouldn't have said anything about that. Okay, you right. describe that. It's like the absolute wrong thing. To do. <laughs> exactly the thing he's asking about. Well, well. So, and what does Benji think about that? Like, and now that Marcus is here saying that, like, what is going through Benji's mind? Um, I think it would be almost in a state of denial that that even happened. It's like a dream-like state for him. So, yeah, he's probably just suppressing that in light of everything that's going on. Okay. I wanna, I, I guess, wanna say, uh, I wanna say that Benedict probably sees him acting shifty um does he because if, can you, you well, roll, can I, you're gonna have to roll, roll on something like that my friend if you want to say that some... benedict observes something and if benji's trying to hold himself together then uh yeah Bro. Maybe the first rolls of the sesh first rule of the sesh oh, um okay. if benji wants to I would say if you want to detect that Benji's being shifty, use a humant. Yeah. Benji, if you want to hide the fact that you're sweating a bit, then yeah. I would say either persuade or charisma, one or the other. And uh, please enunciate your roles for me. So I got a humant failure, 84 <clears throat> of the 45. I'll roll a persuade check. But now do we have to do it against each other, right? Just tell me what you each got. Oh, whoa, oh, I got an 84 over 40. What does that mean? An 84 over 84. 40, and you got what? For 84 over 45. What are the chances? Uh, what do you mean? What does this mean? How do we interpret this, this data? What does this mean if you both <laughs> Oh, they all both got an 84. Roll. Oh, God, hold <laughs> He's on. He's talking about the 84, I think. But isn't it like you roll against each other now? Hold on, I have to... I uh, he's doing his... God, I, it's like this kind of gets into the rules. This is a great way to slow things down, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Why couldn't have one of you just failed and the other one succeeded? <laughs> well, I mean, while you're looking that up, I mean, to answer the question, I guess Hank will express absolutely. Things have been released in the wild. Not only does this thing Benji have, but we have the two original copy, possibly, of the King in Yellow and uh, a, an English version of the King in Yellow in someone's possession, probably Benji. So yes, they were released one. in the wild. Oh yeah, you guys, into the wild, you guys do have, have that. Yeah, it's like in that way they're contained. Okay. Yeah. Secondly, we have paintings in the basement of this building. Once again, we're, contained. We're okay. gonna we're gonna go fetch those now. Now. Thirdly, uh -huh. people are coming in and out of these 
night floors. One is a 15 year old boy that hasn't even done it yet, but we found his older version in uh, the uh, night floors. From Michael. Remind me about that? Michael Whitmer. Michael okay, the time traveler. He's the guy that got swallowed up by the deep hole in the ground. At some yes, point, yes, that's yes. what I'm saying. Yeah. So we don't even know the people outside know. of who are in this apartment. We don't even know when they entered in the night floors. If it was in the past, the present, or future. Well, I guess what I'm saying is this: the situation hasn't gotten worse. Like, everything is, the status quo is maintained. This was all happening before we got there. So, like, right. shit from the night floors hasn't escaped. Um, okay. And everybody that's been affected has been black bagged by Delta Green and taken away. Benedict's hey. assistant and um, Michelle and uh, the... Okay, we'll go. Cable guy. Um, so, which yeah. one of you had the lower failing score? Um, it was Madison. Because it was over. Ben G had an eighty-four over forty, and John had an eighty-four over forty-five. Shit, that's right. You had the same score. I'm gonna say that because so the way I'm gonna rule this is because Benedict. I, instead of having you guys rolled over, I'm gonna say because Benedict. Technically, his human is a little better than your persuade, even though you both got the same. I'm going to give the advantage to Benedict. Mm. And I'm going to say that, Benedict, you notice. Did you have something to say about that? Yeah. Nature, and you, if we you got that over. wrong, Art Dream Publishing, feel free to chime in. You can reach us at Greenbox Gaming <laughs> on Twitter. Reddit. You can reach us at Greenbox Gaming on Twitter or r slash Greenbox Gaming. It would be a great place to reach out to us. Um, to tell us how to play this goddamn game. Please, so please tell us how to deal with two people who both failed on an opposed check and got the same score. Um, <laughs> some crunchy stuff here. It is but, crunchy. Um, I, I agree with that. I think that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. technically he's a little uh, bit better, and you guys failed equally as bad, but he's a little bit better naturally at this. So, so yeah, so Benedict, Nietzsche, you've got the Nietzsche, idea. You, you, seem, uh, you seem a bit distressed, son. Well, there might have been... You remember when I told you about uh, reading uh, Leroy on John and getting real good at guitar? Yeah. That might have yeah. been something I left out. Oh, no. I sort of... I, don't go, I ain't gonna say blacked out, but I had a hard brown out, and I woke up in a coffee <laughs> shop, and I was playing a main guitar, and uh, at the end of the session, a lady came up to me, and I sort of maybe might have wrote down the King and Yellow sigil and give it to her. So that's just kind of floating around there. You hear hey. from inside the bathroom... I'm almost done here. Uh, if you, uh, I'm gonna be coming out soon. Give us a moment, man. Oh, oh no, you're right. I've got some more. Wash your nice. face. <laughs> Clean yourself up. So uh, I guess thank you for your honesty. Um, I I don't know whether we have to worry about this or whether we have to go and deal with this ourselves or whether we actually need to tell Marcus about this. There ain't nothing he can do about it. I don't know who the girl was. I don't know where she is. There's no way to track it down. It's just out there in the world. I'm sure I'm sorry, fellas. I'll drop the ball on that one. We might be able to clean it up ourselves. As in... Retrace our step. Out. We we have a carpet truck service at our disposal. <laughs> and we know where you went. But I guess we don't know what the consequences of this could be. All things considered, with all the crazy nonsense going on, I think it's a fairly small breach. Because we've all seen the sigil, and it didn't make us go crazy. It just uh, threw us off for a little bit, you know? God, man, I'm, I'm working in this company because I saw a piece of paper with that goddamn sigil. All right. Okay. I respect your feelings, and it seems like they're they're fairly strong right now. So let's just take a moment. What can we do about it? How can we fix this? We may just need to let it slide and focus on the real on the real issues. 
finding okay, Abigail. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out. I'm, I'm, wait, there's, is there some soap or something? I don't see, <laughs> I don't, I don't see any paper towels. Oh my God, it's conditioner. Uh, okay, I'll use that. All right, we'll talk about this later, but don't tell Marcus for the moment. Let's just keep it quiet. I mean, yeah. What? what? Sorry, I, I, the, the music was not supposed to change. My bad. Okay. <laughs> keep, keep, Surprise, going, I'll, keep going. I'll deal with it. <laughs> uh, was it going to come out in a top hat and a cane? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, alone. my honey. <laughs> if you're blue and you don't know where to <laughs> do, go, do. to bottle to go. Uh, let's just keep it quiet because I don't know what we can do about that, Benji. Yeah. In the future, I would advise you uh, yes. not to read any books that might potentially make you, uh, as you put it, brown out. <laughs> 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 that being the two books in your possession. Yeah, I sure won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a human. No. Um, all well, right all right well like Come back I, up marcus <laughs> okay so so what what have you guys decided to, to tell him well okay never mind. Yeah, what, is, yeah. what is what is, what is <laughs> nothing um you guys uh, we're gonna tell he comes oh, out right. of kind of wiping his hands on his coat he's like you guys didn't tell me there wasn't any water he's just got conditioner on his oh, hands no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, we don't use that bathroom. Uh, you just come here to look at this board. I think it's mostly for Yeah, show. the toilet doesn't flush either. Uh, oh, God, man. Uh, shit. <laughs> Literally. So, uh, Marcus, uh, to your answer your question, the straight answer is we do believe this situation is contained. Uh, you have gotten the three people that were problems but unfortunately the biggest concern here is we are not any closer to finding abigail did the higher the men upstairs the the big dg have any kind of advice have they encountered something like this before in the past uh any advice from them would be that, extremely helpful that that look all right okay i'm gonna i'm gonna let you guys i'm gonna let you guys in on kind of how this works okay um you know we're we're m cell right you know it's well a Red. cell like they're the ones who you know they communicate they contact me you know i'm the i'm the i'm running you guys i'm running cell and i get you know i take requests and i give it up to them and they they send data back down i i asked okay I asked. I shouldn't have asked, okay? Because there are there are other entities, other groups at work here, I am convinced. And not specifically with this case, but just in this realm. Like there are opposing you know, it's like it's not the not the KGB necessarily, but imagine that. Like imagine there's like some other group out there that's big and doing other stuff and I shouldn't have asked. I shouldn't have even asked if there was any background. I shouldn't have asked if there was any data. But I did. You know what I was told? I was told that the fact that you guys have seen this might be a problem. That's what Acel has told me. And now, and he points over to the symbol hanging on the wall, and now I've fucking seen it too. I don't even know what it is, and I don't want to know what it is. He, he, he goes over there and grabs it and crumples it and, like... And he pulls a lighter out of his pocket. And he's like, and he start he's and starts to light it, start to burn it. He's like, he's like, I'm telling you that if you guys have found something in that building, he like drops it, you know, as the flames get towards his finger and it goes down towards the floor, starts to burn the floor. He's like, if you guys have found anything in that building or anything with this this bullshit, we need to contain it. That is the job contain this whatever it is I don't know what I don't know what to call it and I don't want to know so I don't want you to say anything else to me about it but I just need to know 
I'll ask you one more time. I need a straight answer. Is there anything else that you have that needs to be contained? Or have there been any leaks of this? Hell no. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get one thing clear, buddy. Are you suggesting that we our highest priority is to contain the situation rather than find Abigail Wright? That's always that what you're us? Abigail Wright is the cover story. I, and he pauses, and you can see the wheels turning. Did you fucking find Abigail Wright? Not the cover quite. story. Because that's the cover story that got the FBI and Delta Green involved. Was the investigation of Abigail Wright. Oh, as in there is an Abigail Wright. Yeah. But that wasn't the main reason to investigate that. Yeah. No, that's not why Delta Green was involved. That's the cover story right. that they used. Right. And he's like, did you, did you find this girl? Is she involved? You said you didn't want to know, man. You are asking uh, a lot no. of questions no, no, for no, somebody no. who doesn't want to know. You're right. Marcus, I f you're right. feel like for better or for worse, you're a part of this too, you know. You just... Well, more or less told us that the big DG, the men upstairs, are potentially thinking of offing us if we get too close. Look, all I'm saying is the things that this organization deals with, they have a tendency to... They have a tendency to ruin people. And then those ruined people tend to go out into the world and ruin everything else. If, if A-Cell gets a whiff, gets a whiff, that that might be you, that that might be me. I don't know if we can get off the grid enough. I mean, hell, you guys, I told you how this investigated, investigation started. One of their people, one of A cells people, or or one of the other cells. Who freaking knows? I don't even know how many there are. Are there more than twenty six? Probably. But one of the other cells, someone happened to see this this photo. This happened to see this symbol in this investigation file, and then ran it up the chain in DG. They have people everywhere. We are definitely not the first, I can tell you that. And I won't tell you how since you're so sensitive to knowing as little as possible, but we are not the first sale to be part of this investigation. What do you... No. Because... Okay, remind me, Joe. What was, this? what was the sale that we found the dude strapped to the thing that got sucked down? So Michael Whitwer... When you first heard of Michael Whitwer, it was the plane ticket that you found in Abigail's apartment. Oh, and the plane that ticket was part of right. And you guys ran yeah. it down, and you figured out this guy's 15 years old, um, and is nowhere near here. And then when you ran into him inside the night floors before he got sucked into a weird dream hole, and you saw this strange, like, like flat-faced mask at the bottom of this hole. He told you that he was part of... He never said... Delta, or he said Delta Green, but he said the program. He said that he yeah. was DEA. And again, this is from the meta side. It's because you guys have played Delta Green right. uh, modules, but Delta Green operations at a different time. And the program is what Delta Green is called in the future. I understand that, that, but he said... He did say a cell he was part of, so I think we could... He did Put not say a together. cell he was part of. Oh, I did we get his agent name? He said he was Agent Vega. He did absolutely Vega. say that. He was there we go. Agent oh, Vega. V-cell. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank God he's not an incel. Those guys, am I right? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the incel group is just the fucking yeah, worst. It's a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> They're very opinionated. <laughs> You only um, send you only send incel in the very certain jobs, you know. Like you got to be careful who they run into because they're just gonna make the situation worse. One of the most social types. No. <laughs> well, Marcus, uh, I do think you need to clear your schedule because I believe you're coming with us on our next trip. What? 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 Whoa! What does that mean? I believe you need to come with us 
to uh, more closely monitor the situation. No. No. You mean back to the McAllister yes, building? We have things I, to do. Uh, yeah, you have things to do. I'm... Look. The priority is containment. If you... If Ab... If the right girl... She's not the priority, okay? She's not the priority. I mean, hell, she's been missing so long. As far as law enforcement is concerned, she's gone, okay? But that's the thing, Marcus. She's not gone. We know for a fact she's not gone. And we you need us just... to contain this. We can't ignore that fact. We have all intentions of containing this, but also getting back this Abigail. Okay. Here's, here's what I think. I'm going to ask you a question, and that question will determine what you should do, okay? Chocolate. What? <laughs> Is he okay? I'm sorry. I jumped the gun. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> can this be contained with the right girl being recovered? Can you recover the right girl and contain this? Because if those two conflict with each other, you contain it first. I think we got to find the right girl in order to contain it. This, this situation goes all the way to the top, brother. Do you mean to tell me that she's she's out here in New York City, that she's out somewhere, and that she's spreading this this shit, whatever? And he like points down to the ashes at his feet. That whatever this is, I'd tell you, but I'd have to shoot you. <laughs> Fuck. That's just all right. The reason we have this shit decentralized. It's for protection. It's for my protection. It's for the program's protection. It's for the fucking world's protection. So, this is your call. This is your call what you gotta do. Alright? He looks at his watch. He's like, I gotta get out of here. Do not plug any leaks. Contain the situation. And... I mean, you also got to finish up with that shit so we can, you know, the cover task of going through the apartment. You got to give the FBI, you know, you know, a catalog of what you've done just to show that you've been doing something. I... We haven't, uh, we haven't gone through it thoroughly. There's still more to go through in her apartment. There's a little bit. Okay. Most of it's done at this point. All right, Marcus. We do appreciate this information, but I want your your word. If A Cell, whoever's up high, higher than us, plans to contain us, I want to know from you before that happens. Persuade. Oh, you want to hit him with a persuade roll? Success, two percent. Oh, under 50. all nice. right. Um, Fifty-seven. He he looks at you. He's like. We, if it comes to that, then the four of us, we're all each other's got. If I find out, I'll let you guys know. But I need to know that you've got my back too, okay? We'll get you the information. Uh, if we'll, if the other members of himself, uh, Benji and everyone uh, agrees, we'll go back, catalog the stuff give you what you found you meet us there and we'll go from there because we still haven't given him the catalog of like the demon mm -hmm. fucking symbol and all that stuff S everyone give me an alertness check oh lord oh. Uh, benedict succeeds 928 hank fell 68 over 52 and benji succeeds with a seven under 24. Um, I'm going to leave it up there just so we still have it. One of you guys, uh, Benji and uh, Benedict, you both kind of hazard a look over 
toward the wall where you have all your evidence posted. The seal with person's symbol is gone. What? Oh. It's gone. Take him down, boys. I'll grab his feet and start. <laughs> um, uh, I so guess I guess, uh, him. Well, he sees it. We we noticed that when we're when I guess Hank is saying, "Yeah, come yeah. by the apartment later. We'll give you all this information." We glue. I'm assuming someone glances at the board, maybe to actually give him this because that's something we recovered, and it's gone. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, I think Benedict will like go. And, uh, one one moment, Marcus. Actually, on that, something for the catalog, and then he'll go over to the wall. It's like, oh, oh no, uh, Marcus, did you touch this wall? No, no. I told you, I don't. You were want, here I don't want to get close to any of this. Shit. Okay. Um. Two minutes. Uh. Okay, you're gonna roll human. See what happens with that. Roll on human. That is a failure with the 68 over 58. Make sure, to, make sure to mark box. your failures. Yeah, mark your failures. True. Yeah. Um, okay, Hank is going to really quickly... What should I roll? Can I roll forensics to see if, like, I think someone came in oh. here when, when we weren't around? Yeah, sure. Nice. That's actually that's a really good use of forensics. Yeah. Fell 64 over yeah. 30. Damn. Well, this is um, a problem... Marcus, we seem to be missing some information from this wall. Well, like, and you, um, had, you had stuck it there with a tack, and the tack is still there. Like, you know, and you're, you're looking at it, it's like... Maybe I Marcus, kinda... maybe, maybe Marcus did have it, or maybe someone came in, but, like, this place is pretty, it's pretty derelict. I mean, it's not impossible that some, you know, some homeless person or something came in here, but... Uh, I mean, the door was locked when you got back. It didn't look like the place had been, you know, beat in, and no one's here. No one's in this building. Oh God. What's the point now? We don't. We don't know. Fuck. Yep. Did someone tell Marcus about this? He he's looking. He's like, are you? Did you guys <sighs> look? Page me when you're done. When you're done with the cataloging and you're done with the containment. If all right, I'm gonna ask you one more question. Is there something in this building? Is there something unnatural going on in this building? Answer the question. Yep, that's a yes, big old yeah. And the this is a completely separate building from the Callister building. No, he's, he's talking, talking about the, the sorry, he's talking about the McAllister building. Oh. Sorry, my bad. Well, absolutely. Yep. Okay. Do what is necessary to ensure that whatever it is is neutralized. This, this this TV repair guy that you guys brought you know, that, that A-Cell's got now? This TV repair guy just stumbled into whatever the fuck it was. I don't even know, and I don't want to know. Make sure that no one stumbles into it ever again. If you can find the right girl, if you think that that's doable, with, and you can contain everything, then do that. But if you got to choose one or the other, contain Save more lives. Save fucking New York City. One more thing. Do you think you could possibly reach out to V-Sale to see if they've done any investigation on this? He kind of... He's like... I can... Um, I can reach out. I can try to tap their... Uh, their controller. See if I can... See if I can do it without getting a cell involved. All right, good deal. Hey, Marcus. Yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thanks, meet you. You guys, you guys watch your back, okay? And he he leaves. All right. On I that don't know note, if I trust that fucking guy. 
No, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> I hate his guts. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. Son of a bitch looks like 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. <laughs> I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. <laughs> I mean, that's a little much, but. That got hard. We appreciate your honesty, Benji. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little extreme, but. Uh... <laughs> that's such a classic Southern thing. Like, I appreciate you. Leave the room. That fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless his heart. Bless his heart, so, that's right. What does everybody think about that plan? Get done cataloging completely, no matter how long that takes. Yeah. Give that information to Marcus, and then decide, I mean, containing, the only thing that comes to my mind is burning down the whole building, like uh, well, Benedict said originally. We got to figure out how to evict everybody, and we got to get everybody out of the building first. And there's a few ways we could do that. We could go through a, uh, maybe Hank could go through some sort of government body and get the building condemned. That would be a longer sort of strategy. Or we could just like fucking pull the fire alarm and blaze it up. We'll figure that out when it comes. Um, I guess we catalog first. I think Hank would still want to go one more time to try to find Abigail, if uh, anything. But yeah, uh, I guess something Agreed. Marcus said. Marcus did make sense when he said, I mean, I guess I wasn't thinking about it in that grand of scale, but could be potentially saving an entire city. Yeah, um, right. If, if anything, that conversation did kind of make me and Benji feel like the gravity of the situation. Like, mm -hmm. our lives are on the line. Like, Delta Green will actually just fucking office. Yeah, and a little paranoia also, going on. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. It's, it's worth noting, and it's like, and this is the kind of stuff that probably, like, you guys would have encountered long before this operation took place it's like this organization and i mean you guys are a part of this organization so that kind of implies that you guys believe that this stuff is real that there are these existential unnatural threats and that's like out there that could destroy everything and that's why you're willing to do this you know it's either you believe in it or you're they're twisting your arm one or the other mm -hmm. so for benedict day? Benedict's his core motivations are to uncover the truth. So even with all this gravity, even with all the pep talk to contain the situation, he needs to find out what's going on. Well, and, and if we truly want to shut it down, we have to get to the sixth floor and and meet up with White Shoes and potentially Darabondi, because Darabondi is the one that's controlling all of this. Like, yeah. we yeah, just got to get so up there. Like we have no idea how to do that unless we uncover something at the... Uh, I say we just go there and search. I mean, potentially something else that comes to mind is splitting up, like, so that we can cover more information. Or, or, disagree. Since, or at least someone... Or disagree. <laughs> or at least someone look at... At least someone look at the basement again. We could do another yeah. search of that, because that oh, had some I thought, info. I thought you meant splitting up in the night floors. No. <laughs> Like, oh, yes. No, yes. No, thank you. That's a handler's dream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we gotta go back. We gotta go back, go back to Callister. Get the cataloging done. Uh, yeah, Benedict will bring the painting. I don't know if it means anything. This might just be like another blood bag situation, but I feel like he needs to bring that painting. Along with wait, what, take it what is this painting again? It's the blank canvas. It's just a blank right. canvas thing. My greatest work yet. That you found where? Remind me again where we found that. I was in, in the, the basement. basement. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do we? Uh, maybe we also need to think about this whole uh, lost piece of information. Potentially, this place being compromised, or are we just chalking that up to not trusting Marcus? How paranoid do we go on this? Hell, we might need to burn this entire building before it's over with. Well, the thing is, is like, if you guys are, it's not a terrible idea. You know, the idea of like sterilizing this place before you go. We're not going to get rid of the, the roll 20 board because that's how well, you guys are organizing your shit. But, um, and I think mm -hmm. the characters would be organizing it too. So maybe this would be probably the last place we get rid of in the whole. Maybe this place, of, uh, I think this place is burned. It's, it's either burned or something uh, bad. Maybe like that, that 
the demon that appeared came and collected. Like either way, Benedict doesn't want to come back here. So uh, uh, I think we need to we need to be done with this place. We're yep. gonna burn this. All this. I mean, obviously keeping it in Relchoni, but we're gonna burn. We're not gonna take this evidence and move to somewhere else. Nope. You could always pack it up and just take it with you. I mean, that's what I'm asking. You don't have to, but or you can burn it all. Like it's this is your, <laughs> just wants to get rid of it. This is your decision. <laughs> I mean, well, Hank wasn't wouldn't feel super strongly. I think Hank's like would kind of. He's like, if that's not a bad idea, if we want to go that route, it's up to you. All right, let's take it with us then. Uh, we'll just have to keep it on our person. Yeah, exactly. And Benji's kind of a, a information hoarder anyway, so he'll just like pack it all up and put it into his satchel, along with the king in yellow. <laughs> God, <laughs> Benji gets caught. Like if he gets busted for something, and the police <laughs> shake it down. <laughs> this is what's all a worst case scenario. What are these books? <laughs> Don't look He's at those. He's like a an uncanny landmine, just fucking waiting to explode. Yeah. All right. All right. So you guys are going to go by um, Benedict's apartment and grab the um, the painting? Yeah. Okay. Um, who is... This is actually this is a, a pretty good question. Are you guys, like, taking a cab? Are you driving? Like, I mean, if you guys... One of you guys has, like, a, a vehicle. It's, you know, we'll say Hank. We'll say Hank for sure has a vehicle. Uh, oh, yeah, he's been going out on dates and everything with this, yeah, right. with this sweet ride. Hank or... Yeah. Yeah. Hank has a Vespa, for the record. A Vespa. <laughs> oh, Benji does? Yeah. Nice. Um, Hank, could you give me a... This is this is one we haven't done before. Could you give me a drive roll? Oh it's like, is, is it Either that hard me, to drive in New York Give City? me a drive or a navigate or something like that. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Driving? This is, well, is, it this is highly irregular. Or is it like... Or is it like which one is it? Driving seems like a technical okay. thing. Okay, right, how about this? Navigation seems like... You can give me a... Basically, when you guys go to head out, it's Sunday evening in New York. A lot of people who had left the city for the weekend are all clamoring back in. So, mm. uh, you guys get to Benedict's apartment, but now you're heading back to the McAllister. So, I need you to roll me a check to see how long it takes you. All right, I guess that's kind of a drive. Failure, 96 over 50. So Benji and Benedict are sitting in the back seat, right? Mm yeah. Okay. So here's, so the problem is, is Hank has so much of his work shit in the trunk, you don't, you can't stick the painting back there. So you gotta have the painting there with you. Uh, let me, let me make a roll real quick, just for kicks, just, uh, just a quick, we'll do a D1, a D100, below 100 is Benji, above, or below 50 is Benji, above is, uh, okay, it's Benji, 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 you're sitting in here, you're sitting in the back of the trunk, you're sitting in the back seat, and time's going by, and you're sitting here looking at this painting. Um... As you do, please make me a sanity check. All right. It's just too wide of a canvas. Something's it's weird. It's too wide. It's just 10 under 45. Benji has a lot of luck with sanity. He does. Mm -hmm. Especially having... You have... I mean, Benji has 45 sanity. Like, that is... It's not the lowest, but it is getting there. Um... Benji, you you're looking at this, you're looking at this painting, you know, as you guys are just kind of sitting in gridlock traffic for a good while. You're looking at this thing, and you just kind of get this eerie feeling. It just kind of, you know, the hair stand up on the back of your neck. You feel uneasiness, that tightness in your chest, and you feel like you can just see something just out of the corner of your eye, like walking down the street. You know, it's like you, you know, there's a, a point where you. You would swear that you see someone standing 
like, you know, everyone's moving back and forth on the street and the sidewalk, and you would swear that every time you look away from the sidewalk, that somebody stops and full on looks at the car. Just like that, mm. some of the passerbys are just looking at you, their heads are all turned towards you. That there's just something just out of sight, and you kind of look back at this canvas, and you realize that the, the uneasiness, you think it's actually something about the canvas. It's hard to say exactly what it is. But you get this feeling that there is something just out of sight. And as you get closer and closer to the McAllister building, you know, you've already experienced this there, that there is something just out of sight in the McAllister building. But you get, a, you get this feeling that that this whole thing, it goes so much farther than the McAllister building. That that's where you're seeing it right now. That's where you guys are seeing it the most. But you just have this feeling that... There's just something right around the corner, just something, just something beyond perception all around you. And Benji just kind of mumbles under his breath. Can you see it? Can you see it? Kind of like <laughs> rock. Oh my God. Yeah. And as you, as you do Benedict, you hear this and you also hear, as soon as Benny says, you hear, can you see it? You hear, what? You hear in your own, you hear like just behind you, just behind your left ear. Have you seen it? Oh my god. Have you seen it? Um, but, uh, Hank, Hank, you haven't had any of this, so, <laughs> Hank, Hank's fine. <laughs> Benedict See swat. what? I haven't missed the exit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, what, seen what? <laughs> Benedict swats Benji. Like, stop that. Stop that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Is that that's Benji sound? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what is someone just rolled something? Uh, um, I didn't. Is that nope? Okay, never mind. Sorry, my uh, my roll twenty did something funny. Um, all right, you guys make it back. Uh oh. Um, when hat? Yeah, we've we've been hat, guys. Um, <laughs> when you make it back to the building, you. Uh, you walk in, and everything seems fairly normal. You know, it's uh, the the McAllister building seems to be a little bit creepier the more and more you learn. All right, let's uh, finish cataloging that that stuff. What's the time yeah. of day or night right now? Oh, it took you a minute. We're gonna say it's probably about seven seven thirty at night. The sun has just already. The sun has just recently okay. gone below the horizon. All right, let's. Yep. Uh, let's get this done. Search. Are we all gonna roll search on this one area. Yeah, make those search rolls. You can all take a plus forty because basically, there's you guys have done so much, and Jeremy got a good bit done before he was, uh, was saved. Right. He's so happy where he is now. A critical success. They're just frolicking free in like a, in a free range. They're free range save yeah. NPCs. Upstate at the Jello factory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, failure for Benji, 76 over 43. Yeah, failure for Benedict. All right. 71 over. So Hank got a got a um, a critical success. And then you I two better just find had regular every failures. Thing every in this fucking piece. Okay. Oh, Eagle wait, Benji, Eye Ellis over here. Benji, you needed a plus 40, so I think you would have made that. Oh, we Benji got a plus 40? Did. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we'll uh, say... You're fine, you don't have to re-roll. We'll say Benji also succeeded. Alright, um... Let's see, you guys... Benji, as you are digging through, you find this piece, which I am putting... And now, give me a moment to do Ooh, a little newspaper clipping. Yep. And this is the key that's going to blow the whole thing wide open. It's going to do it. <laughs> blow it all up. Um, oh, crap. There we go. You trying to enlarge it? Yeah, here we are. Architectural Picasso, a Chicago native. We are told to expect great things from the young Asa Darabondi, whom Providence has named Chicago's own Picasso of Architecture, 
A strange buildings brought to him by his dreams and oh, that's interesting. Dreams and fancies have begun to dot the more wealthy neighborhoods near the lake, and it is said in certain circles that he has been come this. And then that's that's the end of the article. It cuts off. Commissioned by who? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to make it a little smaller so you can be put away. Um, I was reading that. Oh, were you? Sorry. <laughs> I was actually reading the fragments of the articles on either I side. Was, I, I was like also looking for more there. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. There's nothing. It's just like um, ads. Biceps. Classifieds and whatnot. Classifieds, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, yeah, um, a page of the uh, the New York Times, quite an old piece. Hard to say exactly when because it's so torn. There's not much left of it. Um, lastly, though, let's see. Um, so you're digging through. And Benedict, you know, you are... You're distracted. Benedict is distracted. He keeps hearing that after... You really wish Benji hadn't said that shit on the ride over. It's just... He's just opening doors. He's like opening the same closet door and opening and shut. <laughs> Try and find the voices. And it's like... And, and Benedict, you know, as you guys spend time, like, you say, like, the bathroom door is closed and you, like... You know, there's more than once where Benedict... You know, you swear that you see the shadow of someone moving on the other side of the door. You know, and you, you open it. And there's... There's no one there. Uh, it's just, like I said, that uh, Benji kind of saying that had really kind of really kind of puts you on edge. Um, now, Hank, you are going to find this piece. Da -da -da, let me make it bigger for you here. You find this as you are uh, continuing to look. Hmm. Hotel Bradel. Yeah, it rem Alabama. it's it's remind you of like, you know, when you've stayed in some nicer hotels, you know, they'll have, you know, you go in and there might be like a you know, there might be like some stationery and stuff that has the hotel's um letterhead on it. And that's kind of it's kind of what you see here. It's and it has across the top for those who are listening. Um across the top it says um Hotel Broad Alban, it's a piece of hotel stationery, and then there's a hand drawn map on it. Uh, two main rooms, a basement with an X, and what does that say? E-L-E-N? Yeah. Looks then like it. some hallways with a W-L next to it, and then another that reaches another room with an X J-L bottle. Uh, I'm gonna ro roll a intelligence check sure success 13 under 60 all right um and what is actually what is your forensics huh what's your forensics for hank 30 you you're looking at this and you see, as you're kind of looking at this, you're, you're familiar, you know, maybe Hank has dealt with some investigations before where, you know, kind of like identifying where a piece of paper has come from, that kind of thing. And you identify, and you are able to hold it up to the light, and you identify that down in the bottom corner, there is a, uh, a very small, like, watermark that indicates that this piece of paper was manufactured in 1933. Mm. Looks like another place we need to go investigate. There might be another entrance to the night floors. Wait, is this not the... Okay. We were just trying to find a hotel before we ran to the bookstore. I wonder if this is the same hotel. We saw that place with the big B on the outside. So it doesn't exist. This is the same one. Yeah. What does what does Hank what does Hank think about this about that um, that kind of uh, that kind of thought? Hmm. 
Um, he obviously expresses that he thinks this is the same hotel that was in the picture of Darabondi before they ran into the bookstore. Was there? Where's a... El? Go ahead. What you? And think? in the in the store that had replaced the hotel. We investigated that, right? We went in there and asked around, and then Joe just straight up said it was a dead lead. Yeah, no, you guys had sure. gone into... Basically, you were able to kind of position yourself in a way that was like, okay, this is where, according to you know the kind of the landmarks on the picture, this is where this place is supposed to be. It looks like there's just a, like a bodega here. And... and there was no basement in the bodega. I mean, you you don't think so. It doesn't look like kind of place that looks like it was extensively constructed okay well it's I got odd shape. this is an odd shape too what is jl have we seen something with the initials jl and wl before is there anybody with a last name that starts with an l i can't think of anything yeah Rifle through my notes. There, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. There's. Uh, oh, oh, wait. You, you start rifling. Oh, if you start rifling, you know, there's a, there's no one specifically that seems to match a WL or JL that just pops off the top of your head. There's Lachance, Cynthia, the manager of Art Life, but that's probably sounds like we wait, just don't so have the information yet. The watermark is from what? What was the year? 1933. And I think this was sc scribbled on here that long ago. Hard to say. Can I roll that? Something for that? Well, I would say because you have a forensics, you have a forensics of 30. Looking at the way that it's written, it appears that this. Um, that the pen that was used to make this map is like a modern style of like typical ballpoint pen. This is not like a old, you know, like an older pen. Like this is, looks like this kind of thing that probably was done with a Bic. The only thing I have to see to go off of is I wonder if this basement. Did just shut down? Uh, our sound just cut out. Oh, did it. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, after we look around down here, I want to go down to the basement of this building and see if there's something, if the basement displayed in here is similar. Like maybe these buildings he makes are like, have something similar to them besides being doorways to alternate dimensions. <laughs> besides that. Um, <laughs> besides yeah. being doors ways to alternate dimensions yeah i think we just have to keep this in mind i don't know if there's anything we can do with it right now yeah it's maybe like finishing the catalogs i, I guess we're going to put together some kind of a catalog of useless shit that doesn't really mean anything but that appears to be i guess in check based on wl jl So uh, a Benedict to ask, like Hank, uh, what kind of what kind of catalog would your people expect from a place like a, like a situation like this? Well, you guys had no. been given a like when you first guys first got in here, there was like a box from the FBI field office that had like bags and you know and evidence evidence tape and you know and stuff like that for you guys to catalog all the stuff and put it together looking around at what you've got now you feel like with you feel like you've pretty much kind of gotten this done um okay yeah if you like you could you could probably do if you could probably do it again but you're like at this point you've gone through the vast majority of the piles of trash and the strange shit that's attached to the walls and all that kind of thing Okay, should we page Marcus? Yeah, let's get his ass down, yeah. 
And that is probably actually a good place for us to go ahead and stop. Um, most notably because our music bot has uh, decided to die. Um, so that's going to kind of create our ambient. So we will get that fixed, uh, hopefully for next time. Um, but thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, those of you who are listening, uh, come on over to r slash Greenbox Gaming. Uh, let us know that you're listening. Let us know where you're from and whatnot. Let us know if you have any any insight or how poorly we're playing the game. Uh, go ahead and let us know that too. <laughs> uh, we are on, and we're on all the socials and stuff, so keep up with our stuff there. Um, if you want to hear the episodes a week early, uh, then please consider heading over to the Patreon, which is linked in the description of the podcast, in the pictures of the VODs, and on Reddit. Uh, think about going there and subscribing to listen to these a week early. Just saying. Might be a good idea. Uh, might be something fun. But thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for playing. And we will see you next time. Bye. Later. Bye. 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 <laughs>